all for being here. Um, I'm glad that this is a, another way that we're all meeting because um, the TA presidents, you guys make magic every single day. And trust me, I know it. Uh, in my time in Williamsburg and Bushwick, seeing the work that many of our TA presidents did, uh, programs that wouldn't happen without presidents, um, these kids wouldn't be getting services, uh, these seniors wouldn't be getting support, uh, food pantries, you name it, the TA presidents are on top of it. And you guys get paid big bucks to do it, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, I'm going to get myself in trouble. <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> So, because, because <laughs> you guys, obviously you do it as volunteers um, out of the goodness of your hearts. And listen, I don't know if there are, there is a position that people want to volunteer for that is more stressful, demands more of, of people um, than a TA president. Um, and yeah, so, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I want to say that also, if, if you're a TA president, obviously you're representing a NYCHA development, and we've known the disinvestment and the neglect that years of the governorship and the mayor, the mayoralty has meant, which means we have undignified conditions in many of these places, folks dealing with mold, leaks, uh, folks thinking that it's, 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 it's less expensive to tear down a building than it is to tear it down and build it new than fix it in some cases. Uh, we have some NYCHA developments that went a whole winter without heat. Uh, the, water, the water goes out, the, the water is not able to be hot, the gas. So I just really want you to know that there might be other volunteer positions, and like, this is all due respect to even like community boards, but there are other volunteer positions, and none of them deal with the crisis management and the crisis that TA presidents deal with on a daily basis. So I just really want you to know that I get it, I see it. Um, and I wish, you know, I'm going to do the best I can to be helpful, um, but as a borough president, the resources I have are extremely limited, uh, but I do got a voice, and I want to be able to use it to support you guys as much as I possibly can. Um, but in, our, in acknowledgement of all that hard work that you do, today I'm proud to announce that we've allocated a total of $108,000 among 69 NYCHA tenant associations in Brooklyn for general programming that directly serves the residents of the development. Developments were each awarded up to $3,000 in discretionary funding based on population, which was important. Uh, it's important. I'm not even going to say nothing. It's all right. There's some, some that are small and some that are big. Still love you all the same. Yes, 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 yes. Um, this is a very small amount of money. I know it is. I'm not saying that I'm going to be changing the world with it. But you guys, this has never happened in Brooklyn. So you guys have traditionally used your own funding that you get on a regular basis to do this work. And we all know that it doesn't even pay for the paper you got to print these flyers on. So this is just, this is just a little a breathing room here. Give you guys a little bit more breathing room. You know, gives you maybe a, a couple of extra activities that you're able to do throughout the year. Closes the gap on maybe getting uniforms for kids in a, in a basketball program. Like whatever it is, we're going to have that. I'm going to do my best, and uh, it's a, I want to say the best I can because I want to be straight with you guys. I want to do this every year is the goal, right? The goal is that, the, that at least I can commit to this every single year so that now it's a supplement that you guys can expect, you can plan for, right? It's not something that, oh, we don't know if we're going to get it, so I don't want to go too crazy on this family day or do too much over here, and then you guys are coming out of pocket. Um, I don't want that to be the case, but this is something that I want to do long term. We're having conversations with the mayor's office as well on whether or not we can increase the funding that you guys get every single year outside of this. Yes. And we had a tenant association meeting. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm turning this into like a meeting. This is not even a press conference anymore. <laughs> we had a, a meeting with a, a many of you. Not everyone was there, but many of you were there. And we talked about a lot of things we wanted to do. And this is one of those things. So I want to be clear that we're not done. We have a ton of work we, we have to do. Uh, we have more programming for young people. We're talking about Red Hook houses. We're still trying to get you your blinds, right? Like we're doing a lot of things that we're, we're going to be working through. But this is just me showing that we had that conversation. There was a request for more support financially from us. 
we're able, this is the easy one that we're able to do. So we're gonna knock this out, get it done, and then we're gonna start working towards the other things that we said we were committed to. Um, and I don't know, I don't have all of the information um, as to um, exactly what we talked about, but we're working on it, trust me. Um, so I'm grateful to my staff, I wanna say to my staff, uh, great work for putting this together. My money lady, Astrid Quas, is not here. That said, the money's in the budget. You could do it if you want to. So I said, let's get it done. Um, I actually want to thank NYCHA for, you know, helping me through this. I want to say we could have gotten this money to you a lot sooner, uh, but it's NYCHA. So we're going to take, take what they give us. We love, we, we still got love for NYCHA. Like, it's all love all the time from my office. Um, now, um, I do want to call up. Uh, Leroy Williams, who is the NYCHA Vice President for Resident Services. And like I said, we... I'm a, I'm a person that tries my... I come from a place of love. And NYCHA is, is tasked with an impossible task. Impossible task. We need a lot of money. This is all about money. This person can come out of their pocket to help us out. This is a conversation that we need to have with Kathy Hoker and Mayor Eric Adams. That we need significant funding coming into NYCHA. Yes. That's the, where the conversation is. These folks just wake up every day, try to do their job. Yes. So we want to thank them for being here and for the support that they've given us so far. So come on up. Good morning, good morning, everyone. Good morning. Glad to see my Brooklyn Tennis Association. Thank you. You know, I had to come a long way. I live in the Bronx, so you know, I had to come represent Brooklyn. So greetings again, my name is Leroy Williams. I'm the Vice President of Resident Services for the New York City Housing Authority. Uh, on behalf of our CEO, Lisa Boba Hyatt, you know, she wants to congratulate you on this venture. Um, I did make sure we already put in for the funds for you to receive it as soon as I got it. I made sure it was going out, so you should be receiving it very, very shortly. Oh, good, 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 <laughs> so you don't have to worry about it. I know that was the main thing people wanted to know, when I'm going to get my money. <laughs> yeah, this is nice, but when I'm going to get my money, right? <laughs> oh, yeah, I know you'll email me and call me all night. I know, I know, I got you, I got you. You know, these things, type of things are very important. You know, NYCHA isn't partnerships, right? And we love working with our elected officials to make sure the quality of life for our residents overall is there, right? So, you know, this is one step further in that um, partnership. Uh, I'm glad to hear that every year. So I know, plan for next year, <laughs> as long as I'm in this role. Um, you know, I've been in NYCHA 25 years. I'm a past NYCHA um, resident of Merrill's Houses in the um, Bronx. Um, and I've been doing this type of work, community work, for a long time. So, you know, I want to say hats up to you. I know your jobs are hard. When it gets too hard, myself and my staff is here for you. Please reach out. <laughs> it's our jobs to help. I answer the phone. A lot of these TA presidents, no matter what time, 2 o'clock in the morning, 1 o'clock, it, it's whatever. I call, you call, I answer. So I want to say congratulations and keep up the great work. So, let me just make sure I'm good. Make sure I'm good. All right. So, we have a, a couple of folks that were, weren't able to make it today, um, but still want to say thank you to um, Red Hook East and Red Hook West, which is they were in their house today. So, just want to say thank you. But um, so, we saw Karen. Um, you know, love, all love, all love um, for, for Karen Francis. Just want to say thank you for having us here, the Red Hook uh, Initiative. Isn't this place amazing? Yes. This place is amazing. They do amazing work. And right now we're in partnership with them and trying to find them a permanent home long term here uh, because of the services that they do. And they don't own this beautiful space. So one day comes to the next and they want to get rid of them. They're gone, so we're trying to find them a permanent home, so that's something we're working on, but the Red Hook Initiative does amazing work, um, and the Red Hook Houses has worked with them um, ever since, so I just want to say thank you to the Red Hook Initiative. Just don't find a, two, a building too expensive, that's all, you know? <laughs> uh, they go, don't go crazy. Uh, but uh, we're done with the press conference, but if you guys have anything you wanted to say, we'll give you some time. Um, it's a lot of y'all, um, but if there's somebody that does want to say something and just talk, I just want to say, I love you all very deeply. In the power and the charter mandated responsibilities that I have, you will feel me. Um, and then when the time comes, uh, the advocacy that I do at the state level and the city level, you'll feel it, you'll hear it. Uh, and I want to thank you all for your partnership and what you do for your community. So thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
We're gonna try to do like five, five of y'all. Five. We in her house, right? So go ahead, go ahead. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. My name is Francis Brown. I'm TA pres president for Reddick East. I just want to thank Borough President Reynoso because he's a politician that doing something for us. He's not just talking. We, he's getting it done. So I'm going to say this here in front of everyone. He has my vote. Oh, he has my vote. Yes, and anybody else that I could take and tell him, this is the man to vote for. Vote for people that's going to do something for you. Stop voting for people that are not doing nothing for you. You know, and I, I thank him for this because last year, me and my husband, we spent $2,000 buying turkeys for the residents of Red Hook East. And we took it out of our pocket. We put $1,000 each in and to give turkeys out for our residents. And, and I don't usually come out. You know, I have to go to a meeting. But this is for my community. It's not about me. It's about my community. And I fight hard for my community. And when I come out, I represent my community. You know, I don't come out, you know, willy-nilly. You know, I come out hard for my community because I love my Red Hook East. I love Red Hook West, too. But I love my community. I love where I live. And I don't have to live here, but I live here because I want to. You know, and I just want to thank him again. Thank you so very, very much. And God bless you, my dear. It's not about votes. I got like, I got three years left. I'm, I'm not here. I'm not here six months before election day. I want to be clear. I don't want to get in trouble. It's not about votes. I love y'all and I want to do right by y'all. So if anything, we've taken a long time to get here. All right. So but no, no votes. Don't worry about it. If y'all don't vote for me, I'll be cool with that too. It's all good. It don't, it don't matter. But I appreciate, I appreciate you very much. No. Oh, no, no. no. We got... We got <laughs> I hear you. Come back. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. Any other? Come on up. One, and I think you wanted to come up, so come up. But come up now. The, the, li the, lines are, the line is going to be long. There's two. We got, after that, we got three. That's four. So we got one more after that. Or maybe we just stay with four? Four. All right. All right. There you go. Go on. Okay. Thank you so much. <laughs> okay. Good morning, everyone. I'm, my name is Barbara McFadden. We know who you are. Okay. <laughs> yes. Yes. I happen. I happen to be the vice chair for CCOP, and right now, today, I'm sending regards um, to Danny Barber, our citywide chair. He had, he he was in an accident, and um, if you have his number, you can text him. And if you don't answer, don't worry. He would definitely respond back. Um, I just want to say thanks to our borough president, Renoso. I really appreciate him. I appreciate the hard work that he's doing. And if you guys ever looked on Facebook, they called me the Oprah of Brooklyn. And just to be next to the borough president of Brooklyn, that's an honor. Let's there give him a know. clap. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And, and I humbly want to thank all the TA presidents in Brooklyn, Queens, Manhattan, Staten Island, and um, the Bronx, because day in and day out, we go through a lot of trials and tribulations, and it's not easy. And I know, because I've been doing it for 14 years, verse 20 with the Board of Ag. But with that being said, I want us to continue to work together as a team, because they said teamwork makes the dream work. That's right. And, and before I humbly take my seat, today is my birthday. Hey. Happy birthday. Hey. Now we gotta, now we gotta sing happy birthday. Uh. So, one, two, three. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Thank you. Thank you. It's an honor. Be well. Be safe, everyone, and I love you. Thank you. We didn't even get to the. We didn't even do the Stevie Wonder version right there. I like that. No, we're all right. We're all right. We're all right. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, good morning. Give all of us applause. Thank God that we're here. To God be the glory. 
I want to say thank you, Father God, for seeing us here in the name of, in the, in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you for seeing us here safe, Lord God. We made it, Lord God. Thank you, thank you, Lord God, for another day in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord God, for Jesus. Thank you, Lord God, for the TA president. Thank you, Lord God, for the, borough Brooklyn, the Brooklyn Borough president in the mighty name of Jesus. Father God, we love you. We need you, Lord God. We put your anointing on us, Lord God. We need you right now, Father God. Walk up and down our streets, Lord God. Save our children. Break the chain, Lord God, in our homes, Lord God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Christ. Break the chains in the priests, Lord God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Break the chains off our children, Lord God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord God, our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us for our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Amen. Thank you. That'll be our the delayed invocation. That'll be the delayed invocation to, to this meeting. Thank you so much. Come on. Good. Good morning. I don't know how I could come behind that. <laughs> she should have been last, but hey. Good morning. My name is Lisa Ken. I'm from Van Dyke. I'm the TA president. I apologize for being late, but I've just learned how to use Uber. <laughs> and um, I said I had to get here because last time when you had something, I had a meeting. I couldn't get here, and I want you to see who I am. Um, it's just been one of those mornings, my great-grandson, you know schools, you gotta, and you gotta come to Brownsville to the schools. Cause when I leave here, I'm getting ready to call the superintendent. It took me a half an hour, I sat there to wait for the assistant principal because I wanted to go up there and check behind my great-grandson. They say he take 20 minutes to get to school. So I, I would have sat in his class today, but they give you such a hard time. The people never came down to see, see me. So when I leave here, I got Dr. Kirkland, who's the superintendent in District 23. I got his telephone number. I'm going to telephone him and email him because I found out I was sitting there, little kids going upstairs by themselves. That's not good. It's not good. I sat there. Then the coordinator told me, she said, well, um, I apologize. So I said, yeah, it's not your fault, but I'm going to do what I got to do. She said, yeah, do what you got to do. And don't bother me that she said that, because I'm going to do what I had to do. People ain't going to like you. You know, you know, as being president, you try to do the right thing. You can't please everybody. But one person that you can please is please God. So that's what I do. I get up in the morning and say my prayers, because you're going to be on the battlefield when you go out the door. So I just want to just encourage people, because I've been the president for 20 years. I want to retire. But you can't give it to just anybody. See, people don't understand when you're doing the work, it's not about you anymore. It's about the people that you serve. And we all could have moved out of public housing if we want to. But why? That's our home. And my mother always told me, if you don't take care of your home, who's going to take care of it? So I just encourage people, it's going to be a fight. Anything that's worth something is always a struggle. So just say your prayers in the morning, say them in the afternoon, say them at night. I may not go to church every Sunday, but I know what God can do. Have a blessed day. You coming? You know you're coming up here. Come on, Miss Shipman. All right, Miss Shipman, can I get the mic to you, though? So you don't need to make the walk? All right, Miss Shipman is going to be... You, you pushing it with number six over here. Yeah. Miss Shipman, go ahead, man. Go ahead, Miss Shipman. No, you don't. Oh, okay. <laughs> Oklahoma Shipman, I'm the TA president of Bushwick College. Yay. Um, I don't like speaking in public, so I'm not coming up there to speak. <laughs> okay. um, but I just wanted to say, because I've been knowing Antonio since when he was a part of Diana, Ra Diana Rayner's um, team. One thing that I will say is that he is a man of his word. Mm -hmm. If you don't know him, get to know him and develop that relationship. Mm -hmm. When he first became, matter of fact, before he became councilman, we had a conversation and he promised me that we were going to get this basketball program going on in Bushwick. When he became councilman, he honored his word mm -hmm. and we had that basketball tournament. Mm -hmm. We had that tournament every year up until COVID hit. Mm -hmm. And then we stopped.
Thank you. I appreciate you. Thank I appreciate you. the relationship. Thank you. Because even after you left Kent City Council and became borough president, yeah. it's not like you stopped yeah, and you yeah. left Bushwick okay. and you just forgot about us. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. The relationship okay. is still there. Yeah. And thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Ms. I just want to say, um, I, I, got a, I got a lot of love for Miss Shipman. Miss Shipman almost made me cry. Miss Shipman, she, she's, um, Miss Shipman is an example. Like, I don't know everyone here, but I know TA presidents because I know Miss Shipman. And we can't do anything without her. We want, you could have put a basketball program. I could have given money to anybody to do a basketball program. It wouldn't have worked. It took Miss Shipman to make it work. We had kids the first time, you need to fill out forms. And the parents weren't filling out forms for the kids to come down. So Ms. Shipman was like, no, no forms. Everybody comes down. Five dollars to get a shirt and pants, no money. Backpacks afterwards. Cooking every single day, hot dogs and hamburgers there every time there's a game. And I remember a, um, a tenant from Bushwick Houses saying, Antonio, you know what I, was the best thing? It's not so much that the basketball program is there, it's that we, haven't, we hadn't heard kids laughter in a long time. Wow. And he's like, and now in those windows, every Saturday, we know those kids are gonna be running around having a great time. And they were just like, it just brought joy to the development. And you know, you think it's a basketball program, who cares about that? But that positive energy, that joy really meant something. But Ms. Shipman, I love you. Uh, anything you need, you know, you call me. You know, she, Ms. Shipman is like auntie, she calls me, she'll figure it out. She'll be like, I need you to do this, Antonio. Uh, but I'm glad, I hope you're there doing well by you over there. And if you guys, anybody needs anything. Look, this money is there, but it doesn't mean there's, more, there's not more needs. So don't be afraid to say, hey, I need help with this, I need help with that. If it's real and it's something I can do, I will do. I'm also honest, there's gonna be moments where I'm like, I just can't do that. I'm so sorry, it's not that I don't want to, I just can't. But I always look out for you guys. I'm trying my best, you guys, it's a lot of you guys. I will, I, at first I didn't know if I could make every single TA, uh, like or every single development, but I know I can and I'm going to. So whoever hasn't seen me in the development, I'll be out there, I'll be out there. Then if you have seen me, then you might have to wait a little rotation, just a little bit. Uh, but everybody else will see me. But thank you again. I want you guys, and, and, and the last thing is, I came late, and I, it's like a typical politician. <laughs> I came late, and because I'm late, I'm running late to my next one now. Because um, I want to like take pictures with y'all, just hang out. Um, this is, but we're gonna host, I think we're hosting another meeting in Borough Hall soon. So when we do that, please come out again. There's always food, there's always drinks. We're gonna follow up on the commitments we made originally, see how much progress we made on those, and see if there's any more emergencies and things we could take care of moving forward. So we're gonna keep that up, but what I want you to feel is that you're not wasting your time. Like you came, you asked for stuff, you're getting it, things are moving, versus y'all just showing up every time, everybody giving you the, the, the talk and the business, and then nothing is followed through on. Like I, I wanna make sure you feel like, oh, we gotta go to that Borough Hall uh, NYCHA one because there's actually stuff going on there versus like these fake task forces or whatever that don't do anything. So I want you to feel that there's value in being with, with me or being around the Borough Hall. Um, so I want to thank you all for that. I know you had, we're going to let you come up. Come on up. We're going to let you come up. It's sick. He broke the rules, but what are we going to do? You know, we can't. Thank you. I appreciate that. No, thank you. All right. Good morning, everybody. Uh, my name is Arthur Warren. I'm the Resident Association President for Long Island Baptist in East New York, Brooklyn. Um, first and foremost, I want to thank this gentleman for the um, donation that he gave us. Unfortunately, we, I have one of my buildings that's out of gas since July 17. 17 apartments, one whole building. The thing about it is we're going through a lot over there. I'm definitely going through a lot because I live in the building. So they're coming down to me every time I walk out my door. But um, for, um, the good thing is we have a Halloween party for the kids today, okay? We're going to barbecue hamburgers and Franks because that way their parents ain't got to pay for, you know, feed them today. Tomorrow we got a Bronx Zoo trip. Thanks to Nietzsche and the free tickets to the Bronx Zoo. Um, the money that we got from the borough president, we're going to use that money to actually... Um, cater Thanksgiving for Long Island Baptist houses and especially for the residents that don't have gas. I give out turkeys every year. I can't even give them turkeys. So the other buildings can get turkeys, but that building and if the other people want to come, they will actually eat a, a, um, a Thanksgiving dinner. Okay, thanks to the borough president. All right. So I just want to say thank you. Big round of applause. And last but not least, I was trying to catch this man in June at my daughter's graduation. All right, he spoke uh, um, for Midwood High School. 
850 kids graduated that day. That was the largest I ever seen. And my daughter was one. So I thank you and I thank y'all for listening. All right, thank you. Appreciate that, all right? Appreciate So I got, my message for you guys is obviously a lot different than my message for the kids. But what I always tell the kids is that we're from Brooklyn and we don't make excuses. And like these young people, like they can't make excuses. We circumstances in life. We all grew up in different circumstances. Some people, some people had it worse than others. Yeah. But we don't make excuses in Brooklyn. We make it happen. We make it work. And I had to tell those kids, like, don't live on those. Don't let people tell you you're not something. Um, and it's just like my words that I try to push to them because I came from from very little as well. And I'm here as like the youngest borough president in Brooklyn. And it's just like. So I'm just trying to let these kids know that they got, they got a future. They could do whatever they want. It's all on them. They invite me here all the time. You, should, you guys, if you ever want to just on one day, come and be in one of these circles with these kids in here. And you just know, like, they're gonna, they got a shot because they're in this building. And I would love for you guys to come and see what the Red Hook Initiative is doing with these young people. They, like, really are, like, trying to get to them. And you ask these kids questions. They might look like they're not paying attention and they phased out. You finish and you ask them. They're ready. They're like, I do got a question I want to ask you. Um, and they're always on point. So, again, I know I'm talking a lot. Love you all. Um, thank you so much. Congratulations.